Now, although I build my own guitars, I seem to have become attached to this gorgeous little Yamaha nylon electro acoustic one. One of the first things I did was to modify it to accommodate my backing tracks recorder and wireless jack. I've actually used a genuine piece of close grain solid spruce that I'd normally use for the top of one of my guitars. So it's about three millimeters thick and I've used chemical metal and epoxy resin to make the necessary accommodations on the back out of sight. Today I'm going to get around to putting a lacquer on the spruce insert and I'm going to be environmentally correct and use a water-based acrylic lacquer. I normally use polyurethane varnish but the truth is this acrylic lacquer is also a lot quicker. Um, I reckon I can put on about four or five coats within an hour uh, on this hot English summer day. Sanding the spruce down is done with a fairly fine grit paper used with a block and you always go with the grain. Now that hardly needs mentioning. The block keeps the sanding flat. I then use the abrasive paper to soften the edges. Now I'm ready to start spraying the lacquer um, and very importantly I'm using a current copy of Motorcycle News to absorb the overspray. Uh, no other magazine does the job quite so well. Uh, I guess you could use Guitarist magazine but I just feel happier using Motorcycle News. The spray strokes are light and from, oh I don't know, about six inches away and I'm going to build up several coats in a short time. Because spruce is a softwood the first few coats are going to sink straight in so I reckon about four coats before a build up is noticeable and I put it out in the sun to dry. In between coats, denibbing is required, and incidentally, when you cut larger sheets of abrasive paper, always use the edge of a steel rule to make a clean tear. Now, you could use a crocus paper for denibbing, which is fine enough to take the stubble off your face, uh, assuming you're a bloke that's watching this video. Now, I took great care not to use the main article of interest in motorcycle news, uh, this Norton Road Racer as I'm also restoring my Triton Caffey racer that has a Norton frame and Triumph engine. So now the lacquering is done and the surface is silky smooth and I can put the spruce fascia back into my guitar. Now this is quite a fiddly process to get past the volume and reverb knobs. I've used plastic padding and tiny screws to secure it. The Tascam recorder is fantastic and I attach the various leads and tuck them in out of sight. Then I attach the Samsung wireless sender for the remote jack. It means when I'm playing I can go walkabouts. So, Job done and I reckon the guitar sounds much better now.